Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of MHC October. I just actually finished recording my first episode for November and like literally just finished. I exited out of that world and now I'm here. <laughs> um, so I've invested, let's see how long has it been? Oh, there we go. We are on our 14th day. So I've gone, do you guys see that? Do you see that little dot? The little, I guess they don't know what to do with that little dot when you're in F1 mode, F5 mode. That's funny. Um, but yeah, I spent some time here, um, building up, uh, mostly what I was imagining. And a lot of it was sort of, you know, improvised. But without any more ado, here is what, you know, my mansion would have looked like. Bam. So, it's not super grandiose, but you can see over there in the corner my spooky ghost. And um, I made that oh, that part look a little bit more burned down. So let's head down. Um, as you can see, I built a little path here. Very rough, just so you know where to go. You're going to hear a skeleton. <laughs> um, you could also see some of these um, blocks here. You'll see later on sort of what my idea was with those um so let's m go on in oh let me go over here into my video setting i guess that's fine we can go down a little bit more all right so let's head in here as you can see this is my let's go through this mostly in f1 mode yeah okay i'll, I'll have my one out so i can hit things yep okay so here you can see I put a roof on this little gazebo thing, but you can see it sort of run down. There's holes in the roof up here. There's holes over here. That would be presumably from lightning strikes. And this down here was some spooky blood um, with just it looking a little bit more run down. And over here you see I have some um, potted plants. I, I was going to put a dead bush in I was going to put a dead bush in that one. I didn't know they were that easy. Um, I was going to put a dead bush in that one, but I had changed my mind. Now, let me get out of F1 mode because I saw a creeper in here. Just right now. As you can see, here is the inside of our house. I um, I broke down one of our doors and we have this door closed. We also have um, a little bit of a, a window back there. Over here, you can see my lighting. It doesn't look super spooky because it's daytime. This is just a um, a door, uh, like a little table I put here. And you can't see it, but there's um, fences down there. I have to be careful. So in here, it's just a little passing room. Over there, you can see the creeper. Um, over here is the room, which... Oh, you can get through here, but you can't get out. Boop, boop. And so here is the... Um, broken roof. I just made it look a little bit. I just put a, a little bit more stuff. I also finished off this roof back here. It's fine because you'll never see it from the front. <laughs> it looks a little, a little out of place, but eh, whatever. I couldn't figure out what else to do with it. So, and again, some more sun dried stuff. And we'll check out the bathroom in a second. All right, he's dead. And so in here, this is our bathroom. Um, all of all my doors have to be elevated because this is um, a half slab. This is a half slab floor, and you can't place doors in a half slab. So in here, you'll see a little cauldron, and then woo, spooky armor stand with blood. Someone was on their period. Moving on. So before we go in that room, that's my favorite room. Over here, we see our our little tower here. I wish it would become nighttime because this place looks better at nighttime. As you can see here, I raised the floor so mobs would spawn up here. So when you came up here, you'd be like, ah, mobs. So hopefully, um, yeah, things become nighttime. So let's let me run outside real quick and check what time it is. So it's getting the. <laughs> Oh man, I saw that out of the corner of my eye and I thought it was a, a mob. 
it did that a lot to me while I was building in this area. I was just like, oh, what was that out of the corner of my eye? So that's what that looks like. Over here, I, t um, I took away all the things I had over here. And I moved them down over here into a inconspicuous little slot. I have all my furnai and all my stuff just consolidated in here. Let's throw a bunch of stuff over here. This is just my backup. And down here, I would spend my nights over here. Let's show you. Well, I wait for night because the rest of it looks better at night. Over here, this is where I would spend my nights. I would I put down a little barrier here, this so I don't drown, and I would usually put some blocks here and probably above me, and just so um skeletons wouldn't shoot at me. But that was my safe place over there. <laughs> Alright, so still, is there anything else I want to show you? I did, um, I think I did all of the, the windows with you guys, so that's not too big of a surprise. I had, I didn't have any other surprise creepers attack me. Uh, if this were a creative world, I'd just make it time set night. <laughs> um, like I said, I just... I'll explain these a little bit more in my next, in the next world, where I show you the original concept. Well, the kind of original concept. It's my second original concept. So let's head over here so you can see it. Let me fix my FOV so it's a little bit lower, even though I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Let's put that here. I also baked, I finally baked my potatoes. So let's go here, let's go to my video settings and go to normal. I have no idea how I ever played on normal or how anyone plays on normal. You can't see anything. So this is what it looks like. Um, a little bit more impressive, it looks a lot larger. And you can see the path a lot more obviously. So let's head down as we see the sunset. It's just ooh, walking up. Let's walk up, let's not run. Oh god, it scared me again! God damn it! <laughs> Alright, and so you walk up here and you're like, oh man, this place looks really run down. Oh, what is that? Is that blood? Oh, the door. Hello? Is there anyone here? Hello? Hello? Is that, oh my god, why is that all, what happened up there? What's in here? Okay, nothing normal. Ah, who are you? Ah! Ah, oh, run out, run out, run out, close the door. Ah, running up here. You're like, oh, that's, this is okay, this is okay. Look outside. <clears throat> Look outside and see a bunch of... <clears throat> Alright, apparently it's not night, night time enough. You're like, okay, let's do it again. You're like, oh, that's a nice little, that's a nice little table over there. And, okay, broken window, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, this doesn't look, you know, structurally sound, but I'll, I'll, I'll go with it. Oh, look, it's nighttime. That's not spooky at all. Let's look at this. Oh, what is that? Is that blood? Ah, what happened up here? Ah, there's more blood. Ah. And then you're like, oh, is that a zombie over there? Is, oh, what is all this? Why are there so many bad things around everywhere? Ah. Run, 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 run. This, what about this room? Oh, this room looks nice. Look at this. There's, okay, there's a little bit of blood, that's fine. There's a couple of chests, nothing major. Oh, there's some nice paintings, there's a couple of doors that I guess used to be cabinets. We're walking down, what does this say? It says, surprise, oh god, ah! And bam, that's the end. <laughs> and that's the end. So that was my one scare, oh, and there's even scary noises down here. Yay! And there's literally no way back up. I didn't build one. So. Um, now that we're here, let me just take you to the next world, okay? And... Alright, so I, we got out of that mostly unscathed, so here we are in my creative testing world. Let's head over here. So, before we actually look at what it looks like, first let me show you just sort of the creative process. So here I had a general idea of a black, um, a black wool, and a, let's just set time. Time, set, day. So here you can see I had a general idea of I was going to use black glass, black stained glass, some black wool, and some white wool. And I have leaves up here to offset the background, which is all forest. So we can just go back 
you know, it's fine. We don't have to change it at night time. So here you can see a creeper. And you can see I had sort of an idea of all the blocks available to me in the Minecraft Hardcore series October world. I was going to have all these smooth stones available. I was going to have cobblestone, that smooth stone, cobblestone walls. I was going to have spruce wood, dark wood, and oak wood. And all its variants, including the fence gates, the fences, and the slab and stuff. So I used this sort of as my color palette of like things I could use. So over here, am I still on normal? Yes, I am. So if we go time set night, you'll see over here, this is sort of my original idea. Um, if you're wondering what that is, that's just sort of an idea of the contour of what the roof I wanted to look like. So here, let's step right here. Um, well, let's go over the outside first. On the outside, you can see I use coarse dirt. Um, that way, I wouldn't have any of this regular dirt interfering. I use sand, regular cobblestone, some gravel, and also some oak wood logs. The bees are um, left over from a spooky tree I built here. And you can see also, um, sort of like in our last in the actual UHC October world, you'll see here I used what are these cobblestones, and I I took this out of the playbook of B double O, the B double O one hundred is his YouTube channel. Um, in one of his past um Minecraft episodes, he talked about how he was just putting down cobblestones or um some other block, and he said that it just it gave sort of the flatness um, some shape, basically. It gave it some, a little bit of character. And I agree, like, you can do all this stuff. You can make, you can put random blocks in and stuff like that. And it still won't do much for the character. So I put these down to make it look like the walls were tumbling down and stuff like that. As you can see, um, this is the same idea. If you hear the car, a car alarm outside, I apologize. That's one of my neighbors being awfully sensitive on a Sunday night. So I used the cobblestone walls like we did in our regular world. In the October world. And I used the dark oak there. If you're wondering what these um, ladders are. That just means those are the walls that I can om omit. Um, because this is a little bit larger than this side. And I wanted to just minimize the size of this in general. So here's the same idea I used for... Um, the the windows I just use the um you know let's just go let's just go to peaceful and so I use the same idea stairs except I use more signs here um I actually finished the roof on this side I have the same gazebo idea here and here I just use more black wool and same idea over there. And over here you can see I had this idea for the the stairs instead of what I did in the world. But I changed my mind just because of the contour of what this was. It was a lot larger than this. So you can see this is my little... It's sort of like a three-roofed gazebo porch type thing. And that was just based on how large this was. So here you can see this is the entrance. It was only supposed to be a single door entrance. Um... Let's just go to time set day, so you can get more of an idea of what's here. I had accenting black wool, some more broken windows here, and this is where I use the ladders more. And, oh, and if you look at the walls, I use both crack, um, crack stone, regular stone, and cobblestone. Don't mind the monster egg, they're deceivingly in the same place in creative mode menu. So here you see I use a cat and um, a dead bush to signify this is a very old rundown mansion. Um, the planter was open and it was spilling out everywhere. So we, if we open the door, I also use cobblestone here just to make the entrance a little more interesting. Um, it's an open back. I didn't have really an idea of what I wanted to do or how large we wanted it to be. But here you can see I had the same idea with the roof except a lot more higher. And you can actually get up here on your person, but I, even so, I put some toggle downfall. 
even so, I still put some detail up here. It's just sort of like this having fallen and stuff like that. So if we continue on, let's just look at this side. Over here, we see I did a, something a little bit different. Um, and sort of the same to what I did in October. I did a staircase up here, except this one was supposed to be spiraling. And it's, it has the same idea. You just come up here, you can see outside. And these are still slabs. Yeah. These are still slabs. And in here, you can see the contour of the black wool that I use outside too. Um, as a common theme to tie in outside and inside. So, and then one of the last things over here is in this part of the build is I had a tower in the middle with a bunch of broken, um, a bunch of broken windows. And that was again just to signify how old this place was. Now, if you hadn't noticed, this was the idea sort of I had for the windows. From far away, it looks sort of like an arch, an arching window. And that's sort of the idea I wanted to go with, something just over our arching windows. Um, I'll show you, um, I'll put in the, a picture, the pictures of the idea behind this mansion originally, the Google pic I found, and also the picture I drew sort of showing what I wanted to do with it, which is very similar, but you know. So here we see it's a little bit shorter than both of these, a little bit thicker, and I didn't finish the roof just because time. And here we see I did sort of a design with, um, regular andesite. Um, the chiseled stone brick, which you can make by getting, if you don't know, you can just get stone, um, stone brick slabs. And if you put them in your crafting bench to look like this, um, it'll give you chiseled stone. So that would be accessible to me if you didn't know that and accessible to you in survival. And again, with just those windows and I didn't really know what I was going to do with this, which is why there's just a box here. I also didn't know what I was going to do down here because there were going to be blocks here. But that didn't happen in the world just because time and resources. So it's very underwhelming from the back as you can see it's 100% a facade. So and the last thing is down here. Um, this actually was all stone except for the intro I made it not so. So here we go. So this would be um, the wrong thing. Over here, this was like an idea of what I was going to have for the entrance. Let's take that away because that's a different project. Over here, this was going to be sort of the exit. Um, same idea. You see the stone brick, the dark oak. Um, and if we do... And this is also the underside of the house, so you can't really do it. So it would be like this. You would be like, oh, everything's so dark, except for these few lights I have around. You're like, oh, there's an exit. Yay, I can finally get out of this place. Woo, open it. Ah, and you, then you see. And so here's the idea. So you would be falling. And um, all of this is not this. Over here, I start using black wool for like five, six blocks. Um, just to get this sort of like long abyss. Let me put a little bit of light up. And as you can see, I go down to about right here because anything shorter than that, you could see the stone while, um, while looking down. So as you can see down here, I have some lava. So it makes it look like you're just about to die in lava. Um, but really this lava is at about 12, 11. And it, all you do is you fall through it. Just enough to get on fire, and then with the momentum of you falling, because um, lava doesn't break your fall damage, if you didn't know that. So, also why I have water down here, so close down here. So it goes, bam, and then you wouldn't take any fall damage, because the water does break your fall damage. And then down here, I would have a similar idea, just a bunch of black wool. And then, out here in the background, we would have not sheep, but... Zombies make the most noise, so you would have zombies making noise down here, and you'd just be sort of surrounded. And in here, unlike my other world, I do have a ladder leading me out to the outside. Except not really, because <laughs> um, it comes uh, right in the middle of all of this. 
So that was what my idea was. That's what I been in, built in Creative while bored. Over here, over there is a spoiler alert for something I'm going to do in my um, Minecraft, how to survive the apocalypse Minecraft style um, playthrough. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, let's F2 that. So um, at the end of this episode, you're going to see after my outro in this world, you're just going to sort of see um, the pictures that I got online and the sort of the build style I wanted to do. You'll see the build style is I was really inspired to do sort of the dark black wool there and accent it with other things. That's where I got that idea. And also just sort of like the shape of this is on the idea of the little picture and the large picture. So enough of that. You'll see all of that at the end of this episode in a couple of seconds. So if you thank you for watching this episode, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.